What's up guys? How are you? I want to talk to you very briefly about Instagram Reels, my first take on Instagram Reels versus TikTok. Who's going to make it? What's happening with TikTok? All that good stuff. So give me just a few moments here to debrief you. I'm going to give you my opinion and then also going to share some news I just heard about TikTok that's interesting. And no, it's not about the Microsoft deal, although I'm sure all of you know all about that if you've been paying attention to the news. This one is an interesting new feature that's going to be coming out and I think it's going to be extra awesome. So stay tuned towards the end for that. All right, now getting into Instagram Reels. I've checked this out. First of all, how do you find it? It's very simple. <laughs> I They really should have created a whole separate app for this, but they kept it in Instagram. And so uh, to access this thing, all you have to do is go to your stories like you were gonna go create a story and then you'll see it's right there with all the options to create a story or to go live and then there's reels. So it's just like a new feature as opposed to a whole new app and experience. Uh, that's problem number one. Problem number two is it has zero coolness functionality. There's no place to add music. You can't do the editing features like you do on TikTok. All the things that make TikTok cool the culture, the editing, all that stuff is not there. It's so basic. It's like it's like adding on an extra story. And it's so, to be honest, I hate to call it stupid, but it's very poorly done. It's almost as if somebody was to the developer's head with a gun at Facebook or Instagram. And they were saying, you got to get this product out ASAP, get something out there. And they put something out there and it sucks. And I've also heard that they've paid some top influencers, some of the top creators from TikTok to also create on Reels. And so the word on the street is they do create on Reels, but they're still posting on TikTok. And so uh, that was a flop and a waste of money, although it was a good try. I'm just so saddened by this whole thing. Facebook, Instagram, if you're going to really try, I mean, I, th I thought when Facebook, Instagram did the whole deal with taking on stories um, as a way to combat the hype of Snapchat, that was a great job. I never liked Snapchat. I never got into it. Um, didn't want to get into it. Same deal with TikTok. I didn't want to get into TikTok either, but really didn't want to get into Snapchat. I tried it for two seconds just to say I did it and could, it didn't stick with me. And so I was actually happy that the stories feature came on and stories has become one of the cool selling features for influencers and otherwise for brands in general on Instagram and Facebook. However, Reels is gonna need tons of work. It's gonna, I feel like it's flopping just like Lasso did with Facebook. It's just not, I don't see it. I don't think it's gonna make it. And it's definitely not going to make it as is. It needs so much work and I wish they would have taken time, although I understand the pressure to get something out there to compete since TikTok is all the rage and in the news and getting all the press, good and bad. <laughs> although the bad part is not TikTok's fault. That's all due to our administration. However, you know, I just think it was very poorly done. It cannot compete in its current state. I mean, you are at 5% of the functionality of TikTok, it, and again, it lacks the coolness. And the current Instagram users who know nothing about TikTok are gonna look at Reels and they're gonna treat it like stories because it's right up there with stories. There's nothing new about it that really separates it from what a story is. And so I'm, that's how people are gonna treat it. It's not gonna work out right. It's just not. I heard a presenter the other day talking about Reels and TikTok. She was so excited. She was like, I'm gonna try Reels. And I'm like, honey, you know, I'm looking at it today for the first time and I'm like, it's not, it's not comparable whatsoever to TikTok. So it just isn't. So that's my take. Reels, you suck right now. You need so much work. I'm, Sorry for the developers who had to scramble to get that together because it looks just like that, like you scrambled to get it together. And I'm sorry to be harsh about it, but I am a TikTok user and I'm comparing the two and it, you can't compare them. It's your worlds away. 
from the from the whole reason why TikTok users love TikTok. Um, again, lacking the culture, lacking the functionality, lacking the music. There's a lot lacking. <laughs> so that's my take on Reels. The news on TikTok that is super cool. I just heard this recently from one of the influencers I follow is that TikTok is going to be adding on a feature that's going to go up to three minutes. So now those users who are like, I, I don't dance, I don't like stupid little skits, blah, 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 you know, which you don't have to do all that now to succeed. Up until now, the longest format you could put on TikTok was a minute. It can go up to 60 seconds. You can do 15 seconds or less or more than 15 seconds up until 60. So there's, there's a 15 second kind of standard and then there's up to 60 seconds that you can do. Now I hear that it's gonna go up to three minutes and that is great news for the people who have good solid educational content who really wanna do a little bit of a deeper dive than you can do now on a minute platform. You can now go up to three minutes and I say now, but that's supposed to be coming soon. So we'll see when that feature rolls out. That sounds exciting. That'll be awesome, awesome for so many people to play with. So look out for that coming soon. Tell me your thoughts about Instagram Reels below and also about this new feature coming out on TikTok. I wanna hear your thoughts all about this. And so also leave any other comments you have below about TikTok and that kind of thing. And just to remind you, I was one of those people who did not want to do TikTok, just like I did, like I told you before, I did not want to do Snapchat when it first came out. I was so thankful that Facebook and Instagram came up with a competitor uh, feature and that was awesome and it worked great for them. In this instance, Reels is not cutting it. Like I told you, it's, I don't see it. It needs so much work and I wish they didn't have to scramble so fast to get something out. Again, it's pitiful. But the reason I got on TikTok, again, it was two reasons. And that was because one, I heard at Social Media Marketing World by Michael Stelzner, who's CEO of Social Media Examiner that puts on that conference in San Diego. He said 49% of the users on TikTok are age 35 and over. And I just was like, that's me. I can't believe that. And I'm going to go see if that's true. It is true. I can tell you and show you where the 35 and older people are on TikTok. And even the business owners, the doctors, the lawyers, all those people, they are there. And so I have a video all about that if you want to see the types of people on TikTok. The other thing that was impressive was that TikTok's parent company, current parent company as of what's today? Let's just say early August, 2020. As of early August, 2020, ByteDance is still the owner, could be owned by Microsoft or some other company soon, likely Microsoft. And as of last fall, ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok was valued at over 75 billion US dollars. And that's a lot of staying power. That was impressive to me because it showed that it had the financial prowess to compete here. Again, now that Facebook's coming on them, Instagram's coming on them, YouTube even is going to have a competitor product. You know, there are so many competitors coming after them because of how popular and exciting and trend worthy this has become, this app. And TikTok is like, bring it on bring it and they can because they've got the financial prowess to do that and the engineering in place. So the algorithm cannot be beat right now. The functionality cannot be beat right now. The music licensing cannot be beat right now. There's so much that a competitor has to come with to really be able to sincerely compete with TikTok. I'm curious to see a worthy competitor do it and Facebook and Instagram, you could have potentially been a worthy competitor, but you did it wrong this first time. So, all right, again, leave your comments below. I'm Andrea with the ADS Agency, always here to bring you the very best in marketing and branding tips, as well as business tips for those of you who are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and personal branders, which we all are. So thanks so much for being here. If it's your first time here, do consider subscribing. The button is below. Just hit subscribe. And then once you hit subscribe, you're gonna hit a little bell. It's a little YouTube bell. 
make sure you hit that that's going to give you all the notifications when these videos go live don't want you to miss them when they do when they're uploaded and finally be sure to follow us the ads agency that's t-h-e-a-d-s agency ads like ads like advertising so you can find us on facebook twitter instagram linkedin youtube all those wonderful places why did my light go off just now don't know <laughs> anyway follow us and hope to see you soon cuties have a good one